Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBadger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today, talking holsters. This guy right here, which is the One Clip Appendix in the Waistband Holster by Hidden Hybrid Holsters. Taking a step back, if you're unfamiliar with Hidden Hybrid Holsters, they make exactly what their name says. Hidden, i.e. concealable, hybrid, combination of Kydex as well as leather holsters. And this one in particular is specifically their one clip appendix in the waistband holster, which again, does exactly what it says. It has one clip versus two or more, and it's made for appendix carry in the waistband. That's exactly what it does. Throw this guy on there, there it is, bam, it's hidden. My first experience with a hybrid holster was actually this guy, CompTAC Minotaur holster. I actually used it back when I was in law enforcement for off-duty carry and most certainly not a appendix in the waistband, but in the waistband holster, hybrid, leather, and kydex, and it'd ride around like 4.30, 5 o'clock on my body, and it worked well for me. It was kind of that in-between. I will say the hidden hybrid has kind of taken some of these elements and gone a step past it. One of the things I do like about the hidden hybrid holsters is the fact that they're actually suede backed. It does absolutely make it more comfortable. And I do like the incorporation of this claw, basically helping push the weapon back into your body so it doesn't print as much. And really a big fan of one clip. And lastly, I think something that is lacking on a lot of holsters that are kind of a hybrid is this has an adjustable retention on there. And it is distinct. Admittedly, it is not, and I haven't been able to crank it down to where like you could basically shake this, really shake it without it coming out. Not really a holster I wanna get into a knockdown, drag out, roll around on the floor fight with, but there is retention there versus some of the other hybrids like that contact I'd used for a while where the only retention you're getting is however tight the belt is around said holster and weapon in your body. Basically, it's just sandwiched between those, whereas this actually does have some retention to it. As far as concealability, I find this holster does a pretty good job. Does it print some? Yeah, you know what though? Pretty much every holster I have prints some. This right here being a Gen 5 Glock 19, and I do appreciate the fact that there's just one clip on it. You can, if you want, actually tuck in a shirt and it'll go behind the clip. Never tuck shirts in, but that is there. Having only one clip, I find it really easy for me to go ahead and take this holster off when I choose to do that, or go ahead and put this guy back on and clips in there securely, no issues whatsoever. As far as drawing out, easy to draw out and when you put it in you still have that bit of retention there as well find it actually does a really good job for me whether i'm just doing some dry fire or out on the range actually pulling this guy out and putting rounds down range There's a few places where I think they've done an amazing job on this and others where I think they kind of missed the mark. One thing I do like is along here, this edge, it's kind of flared out and radiused, really comfortable, nice and smooth, doesn't get caught on anything and actually makes it easier to go ahead and reholster. And over here, they actually made spacers so they had the appropriate offset for this loop going running your belt through there. Did a really good job with that. One place where I find it kind of lacking is back here. You have this nice suede material, really comfortable, but you have these things exposed. I don't think there's actually any reason to have those exposed because it's just a matter of these coming through from this side, but for whatever reason, these are exposed right there. Same with these. I would much rather actually see these put into this backer piece and then the suede put over it. Additionally, once you've ran a holster with a wedge down here, which essentially pushes back 
pushing your weapon into you, creating an even lower profile as far as printing. Once you ran a holster like that, it's hard to run something else. Like it just, it adds a lot to the actual concealability of a holster. And it would be really cool if there was some incorporation of like a foam wedge, again, under this layer of suede, which admittedly is very comfortable. I will say this is probably the best executed hybrid holster I've ever used. It is absolutely comfortable, whether you're driving or just whatever daily tasks. I really like that single clip, easy to take on and off. And while it does have retention, it doesn't have like locking retention like you will have with some holsters. But again, it's a hybrid. And until you basically have Kydex wrapping all the way around your trigger guard so it truly locks in there, you get what you get. I will say it does a pretty good job though of giving you kind of that distinct click when you're holstering, drawing out, things along those lines. And depending on what you're looking for, they probably have it, i.e. tons of different models as far as different pistols to include different light laser combos. And yeah, you can pick them up straight through their website. Price-wise, around $55 to $70. And since they're made for you and your pistol, it takes about one to three weeks turnaround as far as getting these guys made, getting them shipped out to you. But if you pick one up, let me know how it does for you. And special thank you to all you guys that support my videos, whether it's picking up my new shirts over on Teespring or any of the other stuff, whether it's supporting me through Patreon, liking, sharing videos, buying my targets. Appreciate all that stuff. Thank you guys very much. Helps me go out and create content. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.